Welcome you all to the first market training call. Um, it's our first one, so we're really, you know, we're not going to stick too tight to an agenda. What we really want you all to take away here uh, today is to, to really just get in the get in the feel of, of the technology that we have, looking at the charts, looking at the crypto radar and some of the resources that we use and, and really just engaging um, with other people within our community. You know, we really, we really believe in the, the power of, you know, kind of building these communities up, having people that engage with the, you know, one another, whether it's in person, whether it's, you know, people are a, a thousand miles away. And, you know, now by doing these video calls, we can do this, which Glenn, I, I love your call, your comment right there. I was always too lazy to drive to the physical meetings. I feel you on that one. Um, this is, we like this a lot better, man. We're going to start doing this this weekly training calls. And <clears throat> for those of you all that kind of just joined in, um, Joe is on the call as well. He's our partner with My Trading Scripts, who has engineered all this amazing technology. Um, so what we're kind of looking at now, you have my screen. Uh, and I'm going to hand it over to, to Joe here in a little bit so we can kind of go deeper into it. But this is the crypto radar right here. And <clears throat> Joe, I'll kind of let you talk a little bit more about what went into making this. Really, I know, you know, <clears throat> you usually had all of these indicators on your chart. And, you know, at times it could get a little bit clumpy. But I'll let you kind of take over and just talk about how this all started, man, because it's really, it's really awesome. Wow, uh, thank you. Um, well, pretty much the way the, uh, the radar works is, is that uh, if you notice up at the top, we got the uh, five mainstream indicators, uh, which is uh, volatility, uh, momentum, MACD, stochastics, and uh, RSI. And um, pretty much the way this works is, is, is that uh, these indicators are looking for conditions in the market. Uh, it can be bullish conditions or bearish conditions. And um, uh, when the condition is met, um, which for us is bullish, um, the whole radar is a bullish radar. That's why it's really called the crypto bulls. <laughs> and not everybody's as fortunate to sell the market, so we have to be looking at the, the buy side in here and, um, and navigate. So um, these indicators, um, they're, they're generic and they're mainstream. And uh, when I was trading, um, I, I would use all these indicators on, on the chart, and it can be a little bit convoluting. And my friends would be like, well, how are you able to understand all these different indicators on the chart to know where the market's going? And it was a lot of work because I, I had to watch multiple screens because, you know, you, you got one market, you know, set up with the indicator, another market set up with the indicator, and it's a lot to process. So, um, you know, it, it was a lot to do. And um, it was impossible to teach. And, uh, you know, when the technology changed, um, they allowed us to, uh, this new coding allows us to uh, uh, display the, um, the calculation on multiple symbols um, to determine the condition, which means is that uh, instead of putting all the indicators on one chart, we're able to display things like in a dashboard display. Kind of like if we were flying the plane and we got the gauges as far as like accelerate or decelerate. And, uh, um, and also with that came the ability uh, through technology to scan multiple pairs or multiple coins. So basically is, is that what makes this so powerful is that it gives us the ability right away to scan over 20 coins and know instantaneously what's bullish and what's bearish. So for the markets that are bearish, um, that should go on like the notes and say, well, you know, these are potential markets that in the future, okay, I could be looking at where they could be rewarding to me. So, you know, uh, the whole radar is based off of the hourly chart. So the um, um, anything that's bearish usually moves like in a uh, four to five day cycle. So it may not be an opportunity good today, but it may be an opportunity good next Monday. And uh, anything that's bearish, like what I do is, is I leave notes. I'm a very responsible trader. Um, and then what's bullish, okay, now I, I check back with the scripts. And I'm trying to locate where the bullish is, okay, on the uh, trading view uh, uh, alerts. Um, 
relative to the Fibonacci uh, lines. Like I use a lot of the Fibonacci. Um, we have a tool that comes with this, which is Fibonacci. Um, the big thing for me is the 50% level. Um, any bullish alerts that are given below the 50% level um, have a higher probability. Um, the ones above it are a little bit lower probability. Um, and uh, what happens is is that this radar does this calculation. So so it means that it's doing the calculation on all five indicators simultaneously on over 20 different pairs and within seconds. Like, And that's mind-boggling mind-boggling the way it's able to process the technology so as soon as you have this on there you have such an advantage um now the way you use the radar is that as soon as you get the radar you go to the trading view and uh, you'll notice how we have top trending every market or every coin that's in the top trending okay it can be applied to the uh, demo and also to your watch list so the first thing you do is is that you create your watch list just like uh, Enrique has right there. Second thing you do is you set your alerts. Now, at this point, you're in the game. That means that whenever we get a bullish uh, alert that comes in, you're going to be notified to your phone. Um, now, now, the next part of it is, once you're connected, is, is that which bullish alert do you get? Do you get the first bullish alert after like three or four days down, and you got something that's real scary that just come up? Or do you have, or are you getting like the third or fourth bullish alert from a market that's trending? So meaning is, is that like if we have something that's bullish right now, such as like the steam, right now that market might be on the run. So just because it has bullish doesn't mean that you're going to make money. It depends on where the market is positioned on the chart. And then that's where the support comes in at. Like this is a product here that, you know, um, the way you support the product, it's through the technology, through the levels, through the Fibonacci levels, you know, um, and um, uh, and that's what makes the product fun because it brings us all together. And now we have universal uh, tools and levels that we're that we're able to uh, work off of to position to beat the market. And um, yeah. and that's pretty much how it goes, uh, you know, in a nutshell, uh, with everything. And uh, you know, we were just discussing earlier where, you know, sometimes you'll get these signals, the alerts, um, and it may take three or four days to develop. That's okay. Like, like I call that LBC, let the cake bake. You know? I like and, uh, <laughs> you like that? <laughs> if you take the, the, the cake uh, out of the oven too early, the dough, the dough won't rise. So, you know, the whole thing is, is LBC, let the cake bake um, with the positions that you got on. You might say, well, where do I put the stops? The, the stops go below the other bands, you know? Um, let me um, set my screen up over here. Yeah. So I can kind of like give you guys some examples. Okay. Just let me know. Let's see. Okay. Just a second. Now, um, I, I guess, like, what are you going to – we, we changed the uh, presenter. Okay. Right. Doughboy, oh boy, you are now the presenter. Okay, hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me see that. I think it went away. Hold on. Can you switch that over one more time? I think I had it and I lost yeah. it. Share. You have made presenting. Okay. All right, can you see my screen? Yeah, we've got you now. All right. Let me see if I can minimize this thing in the corner. Uh, this minimize. All right. I'll, I'll put this down here. Okay. I just got my four stuff up one here. And that's the whole thing is, is that, like, like, this technology, you know, I'm sharing with you guys, you know, this isn't like, you know, this isn't something that was just like you know created yesterday. This is something in here like you know like what I consider like one of the greatest success stories, like a part of my success stories. Different colleagues of mine, um, you know, the technology um, that goes behind actually the work behind it, and the universal rules, like the same rules I'm, I'm showing you here. We're going over crypto, 
the other part of business that I do, like, um, uh, you know, um, see a little bit of background on myself. Like I build um, uh, automated uh, technology for hedge funds, you know, like quantitative uh, mathematics, like I built quants. And uh, this is, um, the difference is, is that behind the scenes in here, like if it was a, if it was a quant, everything is automated. So you actually don't see, you actually, we're actually not using the charts. We're actually using the technology through the radar to go directly to the brokerage stream on the, the HFTs, which is like high frequency trading, and stuff. like just real geek stuff. But the whole point of it is, is that you know, um, it, you know, it's a universal rule, and it doesn't matter if I'm applying that rule to stocks, or if I'm applying it to forex, or if I'm applying it to crypto. It's about playing the game and utilizing the technology and being successful. So. Um, that's the most important thing I want you to, to get from that. So back over to this. Let me just take you over here. All right. So everything over here, the first thing I do is I set up my crypto bulls radar, right? And that means is, is that I match identical in my bulls radar to what we have over here on the crypto radar on the left-hand side, which is the uh, top trending. Now, everything which ends in BTC can be traded on the demo and trading view, which is great because if it's a new guy coming in, right, now he gets the opportunity in there, you know, to trade the basket and to utilize the technology, all right? The second thing that you do is you set your alerts. So let's just go over here, for example, to the vet, okay? When someone gets the package, they generally get the package. This is the standard, which is the three indicators. All right, the Fibonacci is something that we give them as like an additional bonus. All right, as an ad additional bonus, you get this. Uh, additional bonus, you get that. You know, we got a lot of goodies that we're going to sweeten the pot. Um, my goal is is not only to provide the product here on the front end, but then also we're doing a live stream where we're going to have other different technology products um, and be able to, to support the product to them. You know, if you get the product and you got a question, well, then we'll be hanging out in, in the other state room, other chat room in the morning, and then you can just, you know, whatever questions you have, like we're able to support the product for the customers. And, and also, it's a good place where we can collaborate different ideas, you know, to make money because that's what we're here for. We're, we're here to, you know, to, uh, you, know, you know, to win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, uh, so these are the, the basic three indicators, all right? The first one goes on the chart. The second one I put in the second subgraph, which is the bullish bearish alerts. And the third one is the stochastics. The middle one, which is the bullish bearish alerts, this is the one you actually set your alert with. So you right-click on it. Oh, hold on a second. Right-click on this. Add alert right here. Okay, this pops up. Create. Now it takes a few minutes to populate, and then it'll go over to the right-hand side, and um, right over here below the uh, clock. Okay, you can see it up at the top. Um, there's my alert. Now I'm plugged in. Now what's good about this is on the vet is that the next buy signal, or bullish rather, the bullish alert that I get. This right here might be a great opportunity for me. Now, on this type of example right here, this is something that I would consider to be, you know, cherry. So I would leave myself notes with this. All right, it's a little bit early, but this is this is this looks really promising. So um, let's just go over here to another market. Uh, let's go to one that's just moving. Let's just say to the uh, to the steam. So, um, just in review, the first thing we do is, is that we create our watch list so it matches identical to the radar. The second thing we do is we set the alert. And then the, really the third thing we do is, is that we can start trading inside the dome. And I think this is kind of important because if it's somebody new and they're new to Forex or new to crypto, okay, mm -hmm. that, you know, you, you want to get in here and, and use this dome so that, you, so that you can get an idea of, of, of what to expect. Because as soon as you get in Binance, 
you know, or get into having a trading account, sometimes at that point, it's, you know, you there's different things that you should have learned already that you didn't learn. So being able to offer this to the customer, I think, is a, a, a positive thing because then it also gives them the ability to gain confidence in the system, the, the program that they're doing, and confidence in us as far as we know what we're talking about. You know, because my intention is, is that, you know, we have our accounts and we want to showcase our trades, you know, every week in here um, that take place. Um, so, you know, we have really good, uh, you know, trade experience. Okay. Um, let's go back and let's change this to the scheme. All right. So. The, um, this is another one that's setting up in here. Now, sometimes what you'll see in here, and this isn't a good example, is that you'll have bullish on the radar, but when you go to the chart, the HMA didn't change yet, right here. And that's the middle one. Now, if you see that happening, that has to do really inside trading view. It's really a bug in trading view. You have to understand that it's a one-hour chart and it's not going to be until the end of the hour before this indicator may update. So the radar is a little bit more um, reactive to the market condition than the uh, trading view. Sometimes the trading view might, there might be that window where the trading view may lag. So like if you see it, it's not that the radar is not working right. It's just that there's a, sometimes there's these different anomalies with inside the trading view. And it may not be until the next hour. So when the bar actually closes, that the whole indicator and the whole thing inside trading view actually plots itself. So it doesn't do it all the time, but sometimes it does it, you know? Um, so if we were going to say, what's the most powerful part of the strategy? Let's go to another market here. All right, the, the most powerful part of the strategy is testing the first bullish signal. Now, not all of them is going to win. Like, I'm going through this right now. Like, you can see my trade I put on here. All right, this is uh, uh, 2000 uh, uh, on the gas that I brought. And, and this was the last bullish right here. Like, it faked me out. So, not every time is going to be a, a, a perfect time in there. Now, um, it's, it's, it's consolidating right now, and it's still red. I have to wait and see, you know. Um, let me go here into the thing. Right, and this is the, um, the Bitcoin going down right now. So this is going down. So the first bullish right here um, is the most strongest point. So now let me show you the uh, Fibonacci on here. Now when you first put this on here, and this has to do with the uh, trading view, your Fibonacci might go all the way down here to your bottom plot. And what you have to do is, is you have to re reposition it on the chart. And this is a, um, a trading view issue. And what I do is, is then I drop this chart right in here. And what this will do is, it'll keep your Fibonacci plot on the right hand side. And that's where you want them. Now what I do is, is like, like this trading view, when your chart gets like this, you see how my left hand side is? That's my scaling. All I have to do is take that out to clean it up. It doesn't have to be all messy like that. It, it's, it's just, you gotta understand this trading view, sometimes it's a little goofy and you have to resize your charts up. You know, um, and everybody's different, you know. Um, this is just some of the stuff that I do. Right, so whenever we're putting on trades, like, I always use this, and I look at where the signal, the positioning of the signal is relative to the Fibonacci. So, for example, over here, um, let me just go through this.
Okay. Uh, hold on. And this is another one like on this time. I put this trade on the other day, and it's been consolidating. And my stop was like right down here below this blue band. And I just been like barely surviving this trade, like on my support. And I think I'm going to win. If they can come back and get back above this other Fibonacci. And sometimes this is how it goes down. Like this 50% um, level is such like an important level that it may pop it on the first time and then come all the way back down again. And sometimes you got to be quick enough to get out. And then if you don't get out, sometimes you might get stuck. And this was a situation where I got the first bullish signal right here. Okay. It was like right, like right in here, like I was, it was like right in there, and it popped, and you can see like I'm down like a, a dollar right now, because, and and end up failing right there at the fifty percent level and coming down, but but it didn't come down and break that thirty two percent blue band. See, that's where my stop was. Like I survived it, and then now, I mean I don't know how it's gonna go down tonight. I'm just like got my fingers crossed that <laughs> I hit this next bullish because I'm gonna buy more because usually. If I'm if, if I was wrong earlier and then it comes back up, it's going to go right back to that Fibonacci to, to that Fibonacci level again. This is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 keep going through this. The, the, how, often uh, just, does it, how often does it drop below that thirty two percent on the Fib? Well, I, you got to understand you gotta Fibonacci is, it, it, it's something in there that when you start to utilize it in here with the alerts. Mm -hmm. There's some unexplainable things that that happen. It's like uh, um, you know on the Discovery Channel, Ancient Mysteries. <laughs> I don't have an explanation for some of the Fibonacci stuff. I know that the market gravitates to the to those um, particular levels, um, mm -hmm. like a pinball, right? And um, I, I learned Fibonacci from a guy like 15 years ago. This was like an older guy. And it was before it was like as popular as it was right now, as it, as now, and um, you know, it, it really has to do with the secret, the sacred math of the Fibonacci. You have to read up on it. <laughs> I can tell you that it works, and um, uh, I, every time is a little different. So uh, on this example here, this is where my stop is. Let's let's go down the uh, each of these coins. All right, here's another one, right? I got faked out a little bit earlier. And like when I get into a trade, I always go in there and I risk anywhere between um, 0.75 to 1.5%. So that's anywhere between 75 to 150 points. That's just like standard what people do that have hedge funds like in the industry. Like I'm not in there like risking like 10 or 15 points trying to just be 100% accurate because to me that's gambling. What mm -hmm. I like to do is is play the Fibonacci and like if you really want to you know get the most out of these tools in here and, and do the you know get the most positive experience you can get because that's that that's what that's what I'm here for right now is to try to like you know um, share with you how I'm obtaining success through trading and then how, you know, in a way in here um, where I can complement what you're doing, okay? Because I know everybody develops their own trading style, and it's really hard to break out of your trading style, you know? And if your trading style is losing, it's hard to break a losing habit, dude. I can just tell you that. Like, you, you're going to have to be real courageous because, um, you know, um, to develop a winning pattern, you, you, you know, you have to follow rules, you know? And... Um, and, and it takes a lot of courage to follow rules. You know, it's real easy to just keep making the same mistake over, over again, rather than to um, stop making the mistake and realize that you're making the mistake. And and, and that's what these these alerts are going to do. Like you know, through our conversations and different illustrations and how everything starts to evolve, you'll see in here like when you when you start to get into positions, you'll look at how your Fibonacci is. Like, this is like a golden rule here. Like, it, like the 50% is your main line. If you want something that's going to be low risk, all right, or, like, it has to break that 50%. And even over here, like, you're seeing these examples. Like, I, sh I show you guys winning trades and losing trades. These are these are examples here of trades that didn't develop yet, but I'm taking heat on. 
I mean, I don't know if they are going to go tonight. Um, I only thing I know is, is that this is the level I'm looking at as far as, like, whether or not this fade's going to be successful is right here. That blue band. If she breaks that blue band, like, this whole thing can be party time. You know? <laughs> um, it, let's go take a look at another one. Right? And then, okay, this one here. I got a this trade this morning. Um, uh, and I came in here right when this HMA turned. And, and I always, and I caught this one right here at that 50%. And I, I was one of the ones, like, um, that I got out of this morning. Like, I was right here on uh, on this. Like, this was, like, a good one. And, and the reason why I say it was a good one is because I caught the first bullish signal right here, right? The first bullish signal was below the 50% level. And then I exit out of the trade right up here. Up at the thirty-two, and that's what the right-hand side pot is. Doing. So, the so the reason why I would characterize this as like a classic is because you know the success just came to me. So this is one of them examples, like I was telling you earlier. Um, this trade came in. This bullish alert came in, and we were below the fifty percent level. And I, and I just highlight it like this because, like, when you, when you got the scripts and, you, and you're running it, and, um, and and it just starts to look like a duck and walk like a duck, you know. I mean, chances are it's the duck. If you don't have to wait for it to quack, <laughs> All right? Because at that fifty percent level, this was an example where it went straight through it. There's going to be examples when it goes straight through it. And, and, and like I was in that ripple when Ripple broke on that on, on, on you know like um like I don't know it was a couple of weeks ago and, and and I was positioned at the fifty percent and I didn't know it was gonna keep going I didn't I just didn't even know I was in my car and then my my alert went off and then it came in there and, and I'm thinking in my head like oh the fifty percent level and the guy the guy I work with like Jose like I take I take him on Telegram. And I'm like, um, you know, like uh, I always say, like the fifty percent level. Well, we got it. We're going to duke it out at the fifty percent level. And he's like, oh, it, it already popped. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I went and I looked, and then I'm in this fucking trade, and it's up like eight hundred points, and I didn't even know it. So, so if you want to be in big trades and big winners, right? You're not going to know you're going to be in that big winner. Like it, it's going to come to you. Like just like when we're fishing off of the boat, the tuna is going to grab the hook. And I'm, and I'm saying that there's two types of ways to catch the tuna. You know, there's going to be one trade that's going to be below the 50% level on the Fibonacci, and it's going to pop straight through it. And then there's going to be another one, okay, when it's above the 50%. Okay, that's not going to be as cherry as this one. But this one here is like a little bit, I would consider cherry um, for these three rules, the, you know, the sequence of events, these three sequence of events. And it was fast. Like, when it went, like, you know, like, it was, like, within 24 hours, I got my money. And that's what I like, fast. You know, fast, fast profits and fast wearing. <laughs> fast car. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. So, let's go another one. Um, all right. So, yeah, this was another one in here that faked me out a little bit early. So, like, you're seeing in here different ones in here from earlier. Again, at the 50% level. That, that, and now... Here's one in here where it came down and broke the band, but you can see I'm only down thirty six dollars, and, and, and to me, like I'm okay with that. Like I'm not getting into into this to to, to try to like like thirty dollars. I'm okay with my my risk level because I'm giving myself a chance. Because what happens is like I'm worrying about thirty dollars, and then this thing turns back up, and then I'm trying to chase it to get back in. So give yourself a chance when you trade in there. Don't try to, like, call the market, like, 10 to 20 points. I could tell you, like, I've been doing this a long time, and nobody makes money that way. And, and if you do, you're lucky, dude. You're, like, you're, like, so lucky that, like, you know, you, that you're, like, in Las Vegas. You better take your chips off the table because there's nobody in here that, that comes in here and they're successful just risking 10 points and 20 points and, and being all scared. This isn't a joke. Like, the joke's on you at the end if you got fucking zero in your account. That's who the joke is on. You know, you want to win the game, play the game in the beginning of the of the trend, right there in the beginning of the bullish, 
and then and then reap the rewards with everybody because it's real fun when everybody's in it. That's another thing about success. When success comes the right way, we all can share it. It's not like it's oh well, hey, you know, Joe got it. No, 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 no. It, when success comes the right way, we all get the alert, and we're all reacting to the information that we get. We all get the opportunity, and as as things evolve and we you know we create this synergy, um, then we'll all be able to share in these extraordinary experiences and and big wins that that come to us. You know, like I'm not gonna be like, hey, you know, you're gonna you're gonna make 300 points. That's a claim. What I can, and I, I don't make claims. What I can say is, is that I'm going to position you with the automation, with the technology, with the alerts, and a way in here that you're going to be in the beginning of this trend. And the trades that are that are positioned in the beginning of this trend, the bullish alerts at that 50 percent, are going to put you in the position where you're going to be able to maybe achieve two to three hundred points on that move. And yeah. if the market kept going. That might be a time where you gain more. So, so my claim and everything, and when you talk to people, it's always on the technology. You want to make sure that you can kind of take the time to explain it right, you know, because it's not like we're coming in here and we're we're uh, um, we're gambling, you know. Like it's a little bit more of what we're doing right now um, because we're utilizing the technology and we're utilizing you know the different uh, uh, fractional points. On the uh, Fibonacci, and uh, we're using uh, uh, these different analytical tools where we're gaining all these much more and more odds in our favor than just gambling. Gambling is not using these tools. So you know, when you get these tools, now you become like almost like a certified. Uh, uh, you know, you become a doctor. You know, you get your doctor's bag, and you got all these uh, surgical tools inside of it, and uh, you know. Um, and, and you, you know, and, and you use these tools to make money, um, and uh, make money in a way where, where we all can share the success and, and make money in my account, and we all make money at the same time. So, uh, and, and look, here's another one. I'm taking a little bit of heat on. So, you know, I'm glad you're seeing this because you can see up here up at the top how I failed on this bullish. And let me just highlight this because the same way I'm showing you this here. There's going to be a time when we're going to be talking and I'm going to be showing it to you on a win. So, yes, there's going to be times when it comes in here and it has nothing to do with, like, oh, it doesn't work. No, no, no. Sometimes that's how it's going to be. Some trades, they're not going to work. All right? Nobody has the crystal ball in there. Like, you know, but then if you look, you scroll back on the chart, right? There's going to be them trades in here, like right here on this first bullish. You know, and, and every market is different. But here's an example in here where you did catch the trend. All right? You caught it right from right here, and then it ran out. Now, each each time is going to be different, but what I'm just showing you is the consistency of the rule and the consistency of applying the rule to how rewarding it can be for when, you know, you do catch that tune, like when it keeps going, you know? Um and I'm going to keep uh, let's go down here. This is another. Well, I didn't. I didn't take this one here. This is that neo one. But this looks like right here. Like see how this is oversold right here. This yeah. is the stochastics, and it's like red, and it's at the band. I mean, it's not ready yet, right? No, nobody knows. But when you're when the, when you look back on the chart and you see like when this thing's been failing at this fifty percent mm -hmm. level, right here up at the top. Well, then when it does break it. It kind of like goes through it like a rocket, and, and like now, like you know, I'm pointing these things out to you. You'll be able to see in here, like you know, it's like what happens is that it consolidates and then there's a, it creates this this trend line right here, and then when it breaks that, that's what creates this like this like explosive move right up there to that bang. That's fifty two percent, you know, and that's one of the times like. When it goes up, so I'm showing like basically we have the uh, the passive which is oversold right here. So if we have the stochastic uh, start to turn up, it's going to be there at the trend line. It's going to be at the 50%. There's a good chance maybe this alert goes off, 
and then boom, this thing might just pop, just like with everything else. Uh, let me just, I'll just cut through these other ones. Now, look at this right here. Now, I call it this whole thing right here. Like, hands down. Right here. This leg up here. Goodness. Okay. Both of these. Right? And I caught the first bullish on these, dude. And both of these were like position cherry. And on this first one, it didn't go right away, but it was like hugging like the 50% all the way up. Like, it's just like edging, edging, edging. And like, I didn't know it was going to just like pop like this when it goes there. Like, you don't know. You know? You, you, you don't know. And that's what I'm trying to say is, is that like, when you when you really start to play the games and the way the tools are designed, you only have the hypothesis that that's telling you like this is this is the this is how I want to position myself when the condition is right, and then nobody knows how the market's going to unfold itself. Yeah. But but here's an example right here where is that like boom it popped and when it popped you see when it gets up here like um. Oh, wow. Right up here, like uh, uh, up here to these levels, the sixty-two. This is where everybody else was thinking about getting it. It's it fucking corner graph. They 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 put an article uh, out there. Hey, you know this da 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 da. We're Ethereum. Hey, this other thing we're Ethereum. Hey, another guy posts a thing. But hey, like how am I going to make money on it? That's the question. And that's the thing is that you don't want to get caught in the trap. Whereas is that like without these tools, the market goes up there and then like. Like it, it rallies up here to the red, and then now the fucking propaganda is, is, is giving you a bad influence to get into it, and, and it made its move already. Now, sometimes, like, hey, it might be a good idea because it's going to keep going. But a lot of times, these markets, they fail up here, and then everybody chases the market, and then everybody can have a real easy. It's real easy to have a sad story about how you lose money. And you know what? No, nobody wants to hear that. They're only going to listen to it so long, and then they're going to stop talking. Like I've been in this a long time, and nobody likes to hear that. It's not funny. Like when you're losing money, you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, you know, it, this is like such a serious business, and um, you know, and it's fun when you're making money, though. And that's the whole thing about it is, is that we have this choice of how we want to um, create, you know, like our destiny and mold our destiny. Like, and, and dude, we're like, we're in America, you know what I mean? And and the thing is, is that, um, I guess I'm just trying to say, like, I believe in American dream. Like, I'm American. I, I come from, like, a whole military background. Like, I went to military school. Um, and, and I just believe, you know, like, uh, anything is possible. You put your mind to it, like, with the strategy. And, um, um, and, and we're just going over just, like, you know, how to position yourself with the, with the tools, how to be most effective with the tools. Um, the main thing I keep drilling into you guys is really the hot trades um, that come in, the first bullish, um, below the 50%, because I don't want you to have a good thing and get rid of it. Like, if I put you in a trade, I don't want you to get out for 10 points, and then you go look at it, and the market runs 200 points, and then you buy it up here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just want to kind of break... Create. I want to show you another world, okay, where you can kind of like play chess in a way where you can position yourself a, a little bit mathematical with these tools, and then at some point in the future, my hand on my heart, you will be in these big moves. You'll be in a big move, and then we'll be hearing your success story because that's the most that I can get that that I would aspire to get. Like, hey, when are you guys? We're talking. We're in the trade room, and then now we're hearing your success story. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I'm here for because that hey you know that makes me feel good when I go to sleep at night. It also tells me the product is working. You know, like I share success stories with my guys, like you know with Jose, with Andre. Like I got m my friends, like they're different programmers from all over the world. You know, and Russia, Spain, France, um, um, Italy, and and the thing is, is that like that's what that's what keeps us going because like. Like, I've been doing this for over 20 years. Like, I, I, don't, I, I make my first income from trading my own account. 
That's number one, right? Um, second, it, 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 it it's uh, very rewarding to me when I'm able to share positive experience and have a positive impact in someone's life through the technology. So, like, I'm not so much in it for the money. I'm in it for, like, the success story. Um, I'm in it for the, the camaraderie, the, the higher educated conversations, doing extraordinary things. I want to hear, I want to see great things and hear great things. That's why I'm here. That's what we're about, man. That's what we're about. Yeah. That's what we're together. That's what CCG is about and our brand. Let's uh, let's open it up for some questions, though. I know we kind of dived into it there. Anybody got any questions, you know, whether it's about the market, whether it's about, you know, crypto, what we just went over with the scripts and the radar or anything that, that Joe just kind of laid out. We'll kind of leave the floor open uh, for, for this last part. Uh, of the call and really just try and answer questions here and just make sure everyone leaves with, with some value and, and something, some knowledge gained. <clears throat> All good, man. If you, if you did that good at explaining it, uh, it must mean you did a hell of a job. Right, cool. <laughs> well, uh, how frequently will we get some of the emails? Cause I've noticed they're kind of infrequent with the uh, buy and sell alerts. How frequent are you getting the alert emails? Yeah, but I only get them every like week or two. Well, that might be too long. I mean, if you notice here, okay, that they expire. So the thing is, is that like if they're active, they'll be green. If they're not active, they'll be uh, 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 yellow. You might want to check what color they are. Um, if they are inactive, you have to right click on this and then restart all inactive. So every day, I always restart this and I take a look at it. Um, if, if you could take a look on your trading view and, and see if maybe perhaps um, they've been inactive. Okay, log in now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Aaron, let me ask, did you get a chance to look at how the scripts kind of coincided with the, the short and long markets on BitMEX? Is there any correlation there? Um, I, I have messed around with it a little bit uh, yeah. the day of that call, but I haven't looked at it since we had that little mini dump, so that's what I'm about to look at again to see if there was any, um, any correlation uh, there. Yeah. I'm curious to know, man, because that, that, could, be, that could be pretty nice if you can match up with the shorts as well. Yeah. Hey, you see this one here, guys? I caught this one here. I sent this to Enrique. Enrique, I sent this is the one I sent to you this morning. Yeah, I remember. Right? This is Cherry. Cherry right here, guys. Right below that 50% level. And you see it popping right now, dude? Right? It's going right to that 62. And it's like, you know, I, I don't... The, the, the Fibonacci is something in there, which is just a mystery. I, I don't know if it's, it's kind of like if you wanted to ask me, you know, the, the riddle of the Sphinx. I couldn't give it to you. I couldn't give you an answer for it. But that rate traded right there. I caught that on the first bullish. I sent that to Enrique this morning, and it looks like it's, it's still going. Yeah. Right now. Um, I'm looking uh, on, uh, on the, the BitMEX chart. I don't really, I don't necessarily see anything, at least on the, 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 the big dump down to the 33s. The only thing that I, I, I see, and I don't really, What's the little, um, it looks like a, 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 a yellow Bitcoin symbol that just like is appearing above random candles. I might have missed you saying anything about that, but what is that? Uh, no, um, basically, what that is, is, okay, is um, a fractal. And what a fractal means, like you'll see it up here. Oh my God. And my chart might look a little bit, like I have that blue line, I don't have the, the uh, the chart if I just go here I think this is candlestick yeah so when you see the B when you see the B like that that's representing like it's a fractal a fractal is like a mass completion generally you'll get a fractal and then you may get a reversal bar afterwards now sometimes um, if the market goes like let's say 70 points and then you get uh, a B like a fractal it's meant to be like as, as a as like a clue to take an early profit. 
But then sometimes if the market's like consolidating, like it's doing right now, like it's just it's like in a tight trading range, mm-hmm. well then it, it it may you may see more of a, a of a reoccurrence of it, like you're seeing here, because it, it keeps because it's 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 confirming them a mass completion, but it's confirming it in a different way. So like either you, like you might get a move like a seventy or a hundred points, and then all of a sudden like you get a B. That's like a fractal. It's an early clue. Hey, you might want to take a profit, um, because the market price could drop, and um, and then like for this type of situation, the market's going sideways, and then it's like okay, sideways, sideways, fractal. Like okay, uh, it always going higher. Uh, sideways, sideways, fractal. Oh, it's going higher. It's just a difference of how it actually breaks that fifty percent. Like the fifty percent level. Well, this is a, a time where is that like it really fought it up until up until here, and then that was it. Like you were free. That's why this red the fifty percent is so important. You know, to uh, it, it, it's all part of the characteristics of a successful trade. Part of the characteristics is that fifty percent. Um, you know, right down here. And if you notice, like when I move this. It moves to scaling on this trading view, and that's why, like, I got another version I'm going to upload tonight, and I'm going to give you guys, and it, what it's going to do is it's going to be colored. It's going to color, um, I'm going to separate the difference so that um, it can distinguish, what's up, you know, if we're above 50% or below it, because like, well, you'll notice that when you scroll it, it changes on the trading view. So I'm going to uh, put some color into that so we know. For certain that it's below it or above it. Yeah. It's the only thing I, I, I saw on this that I didn't like. But, uh, Actually, I um, didn't have any alerts, but uh, went to the alert section. I think I'll need to set some. I tell you what, on the um, as I'm just kind of scrolling through BitMEX charts, uh, the alerts gave a really good bear signal on Cardano, on the uh, on the four hour. You would have caught a move from um, 0.001160 down to where it is now at like 1076. So you would have caught a nice little, nice little move on that. These ADA Joe I'm trying to. Yeah, it's ADA H19 because it doesn't show up on the actual Binance chart, but it shows up on the BitMEX chart clear as day. Oh, okay, okay. So it's on. Okay, hold on a second. Yes, yeah, so if you go to BitMEX, you'll see the ADA. Yeah. This one here? Yeah, the Cardano contract, and then on the four oh. hour, it shows it really well. I, I haven't looked at the one hour, but the four hour showed it like phenomenally at about a. Um, Let's see what day is this? January twenty eighth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, it's yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, I mean, it's um, it's good and good um, or as well. From the looks of this, yeah. What's the actually go up to? You think, Joe? What was that? The longest time frame you can work up to. Well, um, each mark is different. Like over here, like um, you could actually go all the way up to, uh, like I got six hours. Like some markets, you got like this market doesn't have the data because it's the Mars contract. Yeah. Um, like the inside Bitmax is a little bit different than mine is. So, um, um, let's just say if we went here, right? This is uh this is this is the dollar right here. Uh, well, this is the um this is kind of like a little bit. Uh, well, this is the six hour. Let me go to the one hour. I always like the one hour because the one hour is like two to three days, right? But the four hour is strong. But something like right now, dollars dollars aren't trending. Yeah, the the Bitcoin, Bitcoin wasn't dollars. doing too much. The Litecoin one actually, uh, you get a lot of bullish signals that you would have caught the uh, um a nice. Decent chunk of this move. I see a signal from point zero zero seven nine six. You would have caught up to fucking nine seventy four if you had rode the wave. And, and, and this is the thing, guys. Like you see how like this move, like let, like 
all right, you know, so I know it's always going to be a little bit easier to always look at the chart, you know, but let's just say, like, best case scenario, right, for us. Best case scenario for us is, is that, you know, we come into, like, I, I don't know what March is going to hold for us, but if you notice, like, how we get into the end of the month, and this was a situation like, you know, when we came right into the beginning of February and then like this just so happened, like this market, like look how much it was like explosive and just rallied, you know, it's like there's going to be a, other times like in the future, you know, and if we can catch this thing like right in the beginning, you know, like right once we start to go, like we can like, you know, hold, hold it steady, like for like, for like a whole week or week and a half and we all can be like really, really successful. Like, I, you know, that's what I'm just kind of like, you know, I, you know, that's what be, that's what I would really love to see happen, you know. It, it's just like that gets me excited. The radar, the radar is, is starting to go off, and I don't know if you've checked it in a while. Hold on, I'll take the screen back so you can kind of see. Any other questions, though? We're gonna start to wrap up. I've been going for about about an hour here. Let's see. Okay, I'm good on my end. Yeah, excellent, man. I mean, look, it's great, uh, great call, and uh, you know, um, you know, we'll do it again. Yeah, get a little bit Next closer. Day, Thanks same time. Time. Yeah, excellent. And uh, I'm going to uh, adjust that Fibonacci, and I, and I'm going to add it to you guys, uh, for you guys, and uh, you know, and um, uh, you know, I, I'll be in touch. With, I'm going to put together like a kind of like an overview. You know, to get over for like the next meeting because there's like a flow chart that I made. Uh, I just didn't have a chance to get into it today, but I got like it's kind of like a cheat sheet. You know, just different things like what to look for, and it's and it's just something in there like when you it's always good to kind of have, and it just like helps you kind of like remember just like the most important things like you know when you're using it, and stuff, the technology. Great, Joe. That'd be nice. Yeah. Excellent. Awesome. That sounds good. Okay. All the same time next week. We'll follow right. up on four channels, post the links there, check the emails, and we will see you back next week, fellas. I will wrap it up. And, yeah, any other questions, man, shoot it at the Discord. All right. All right Have a fellas. good one, guys. All right. Bruce.